Hey everyone, welcome back. So this video is gonna be about power transistor that are being used in some sort of audio amplifier application. Where to use them, what are its rating and other basic stuff about them. So let's get started. The first transistor on my list is 2S SC3133, which is a silicon RF power transistor. It is commonly used as a power transistor which is designed to handle high power radio frequency signals in devices such as stereo amplifiers, radio transmitters, television monitors, etc. Like every other semiconductor device, it is made from silicon and germanium, doped with impurities to induce changes in its electrical properties. Its rating are as follows. Maximum collector to emitter voltage 25 volt collector base voltage 60 volt maximum emitter base voltage 5 volt maximum collector current 6 ampere maximum collector power dissipation 20 watts now where you can buy this from you can buy this from utsource.net link is in video description the second transistor on my list is 2SC2240 which is a NPN transistor for low frequency and low noise audio amplifier application. This device is designed to lower noise figure in the region of low signal source impedance and to lower the pulse noise. This is recommended for the first stage of equalizer amplifier. Its rating are as follows. Maximum collector emitter voltage 120 volt collector base voltage 120 volt maximum emitter base voltage 5 volt maximum collector current 0.1 ampere or 100 milliampere maximum collector power dissipation 0.3 watt or 300 milliwatt package is TO92 the third transistor on my list is 2SC3264 which is a silicon NPN epitaxial planar transistor. So what is this epitaxial transistor? A transistor made by depositing a thin pure layer of semiconductor material, epitaxial layer, onto the crystalline support by epitaxy. The layer acts as one of the electrode regions, usually the collector. Silicon epitaxial transistors are designed for use in linear and switching application, like an audio amplifier output stage. Its rating are as follows Maximum collector emitter voltage 230 volt Collector base voltage 230 volt Maximum emitter base voltage 5 volt Maximum collector current 17 ampere Maximum collector power dissipation 200 watt The fourth transistor on my list is 2SC2238 which is a silicon NPN power transistor which is commonly used in power amplifier application and driver stage amplifier application. It is a quite and popular transistor which has been used for more than 20 years and still is one of the best choice as power transistor in amp application. It is available in TO220 package and its rating are as follows. Maximum collector emitter voltage 160 volt, collector base voltage 160 volt maximum emitter base voltage 5 volt maximum collector current 1.5 ampere maximum collector power dissipation 25 volt the fifth transistor is 2sc1969 which is a silicon npn exapital planner type transistor designed for rf power amplifier on hf band mobile radio applications NPN silicon exapital planner transistor intended as a power transmitter up to UHF mobile radio application. It is available in TO220 package. It is very similar to 2SC3133 which is also a power transistor used in RF application. Even its rating are similar to 2SC3133. Its rating are as follows. Maximum collector emitter voltage is 25 volt maximum emitter base voltage is 5 volt collector base voltage is 60 volt maximum collector current is 6 ampere maximum collector power dissipation is 200 watt the sixth and last transistor on my list is 2sc 
2312, which is an NPN RF power transistor specially designed for linear amplifier operating in high frequency band. It is very popular RF transistor used in radios and CB radio amplifier as it have feature like high output and high gain 10.5 dB at 27 MHz. It's available in TO220 package and its rating are as follows. Maximum collector base voltage 60 volt, maximum collector emitter voltage 20 volt. Maximum emitter base voltage 5 volt, maximum collector current 6 ampere, maximum collector power dissipation 1.5 watt. And that's the end of the list. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.